We've also heard from some Hurricane Ian survivors over the last several months that they say not knowing where to house their pets complicated their evacuation decision making. That means right now really is also the time to start thinking about what you will do. For example, some local counties, including Lee County, have programs to try and help keep track of your pets if you do become separated during a storm. We have a great service at our Lee County Domestic Animal Services off of 5600 Banner Drive. For $10, you can get your microchip, your pet microchipped, and we would definitely recommend that just in case you're separated. And that microchipping can help as well. During Hurricane Ian, animal shelters all over southwest Florida took in hundreds of pets, but microchips did make it much easier to reunite, reunite them with their homeowners. Now, some county shelters are pet friendly, too. You can search through our list of shelters on fox4now.com to determine if there's one near you. We also mentioned having a plan for a hotel out of the area. If a storm is headed our way, don't forget to ask if that hotel is pet friendly as well. Now, whether you are headed to a hotel or a shelter, if you evacuate, you want to make sure you also pack plenty of pet food and any medications that might be needed for your pets. Also, make sure you have appropriate crates and kennels since most of the shelters require it.